What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Crash Lander Survival and today we're going to do some base improvements. We're going to build a garage level here and then we're going to move our watering system down to make the farming just a whole lot easier and we'll probably improve this water pump thing at the same time and saves ourselves a bunch of vacuum tubes. So I went out and did some mining uh, just because I think we might need some copper and uh, we have 240 copper but I'm going to grab the rest of this for now. And we're just going to try and make... Look at that. That's just... That's great. We're going to go dump this upstairs. And we're going to try and make some stuff. I got to make another um, chemistry bench as well. Because I left one in the desert with the uh, automatic fueling rocket ship thing going on there. I left a bunch of parts in the desert. So we need a new chemistry bench. We also have a couple of chests. Oh, I can fill in this chest, I guess. We can take that out. We can put a chest there instead. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna just try and build a garage today, make a lot of cement, because that'll be super useful. We should have enough material here to make a ton of cement. I think we have, yeah, we got a bunch of chemicals, and then I think we need some water, so we'll open this up and get that going. And then, uh, hopefully we'll be able to just build a big cement platform. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the cement on the other side just yet, but yeah, hopefully we can build just a big platform here. And then, um, make some sort of, like, a controller ramp, I'm thinking, like... We only need maybe a level one or two controller. Probably not anything too crazy. And hopefully we can just, you know, kind of have a simple setup. Because I don't really think we're going to have a whole lot of component kits. I did mine out a whole node, like I said. 240 copper there. And only like a couple more copper bars. Yikes. It's not, it's not a lot of copper. Alright, and then we're going to just, um... Oh, this is not attached anymore. So I guess let's just remove this. That's fine. And we'll just, we'll just, oh... Get back up. Yeah, no big deal. Perfect. But yeah, we'll remove all this as well. And then we'll come back and have to reattach this to the ceiling. So we'll have to build down from the ceiling probably for the next little bit to start the garage. Because we want it... Well, no, this is attached to the ladder. I don't know how much that matters. Like, I don't know if the game cares that they're the same creation or not. Because they're both attached to the ground, so they're technically never moving. Um, but anyway, let's get the chemistry bench built up. So to do that, we need, um, one of these. We need a chemistry bench. We need metal block. Oh, man, we need so much stuff. Okay. All this just to make another bench that we already have out in the desert. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, if I end up going to that infinite flyer, I left that, that setup out in the desert because the only thing we're missing, uh, for that is a couple of component kits, right? So, or, uh, yeah, like component kits to upgrade the, um, what happened to my other one? Did I not build two? One got output there. Did they get put in two different spots? But yeah, all we need is some more component kits. If we've got more component kits, we could upgrade our uh, other thruster to max. And if we have both our thrusters at max, then, you know, that, that setup will work and we could use that chemistry bench to fly. I had a lot of people comment and say, like, we should use the chemistry bench, uh, you know, set up a bunch of chemistry benches at all the oil ponds around the map and then use that quick transfer device to just fill up our flyers fuel tanks as we come by but that kind of defeats the purpose like my whole thought was you want a system that can go from oil pond to oil pond you don't want to have to set up gas stations at every oil pond you want to just be able to go to any oil pond you find and use it and that was sort of the whole point of you know lugging the chemistry bench itself around um so as long as we can get enough net net positive thrust that we can then move our vehicle that's all we really need to do so i'm gonna hope that that'll work We'll try that setup once we get back to having some more component kits. Uh, in the meantime, here's a new chemistry bench. So, just like that, problem solved. And let's make some concrete. I also saw that there was another new survival mod that came out a lot of people were excited about and asked me to play. And uh, I'm definitely down to play another survival mod at some point in time. Uh, I'd like to continue playing Crash Lander until, you know, I've done all the things I want to do. There's still a lot of blocks in Crash Lander we haven't checked out. And a lot of things that... Uh, you know, are, are new that we should look into. I just know that once I start a new one, then, you know, I'm not going to want to go back because you're going to want to play the new one. But I think that's going to be a good garage height. This gives us a lot of space vertically for vehicles. And it's tall enough for the farm. Like, the farm doesn't really need any space at all. And if we make something fully automatic, like, I think we can hang the farm underneath that and that'll be that'll be good i think this is going to be right so let's continue building this out to the edges and then i'm going to put some pillars just like some you know wood pillars or whatever 
uh, up to where the, basically right above the, the fence that we've got to, I really got to patch the holes in the, yeah, we're going to, we're going to do some patchwork here a little bit. It's been, it's been a little bit. We've been neglecting the base for a while, um, and it kind of shows. So we're just going to give it a little bit of TLC, and then we're going to, you know, maybe patch all these walls to be, I guess, the same height. Should I take the metal out? No, I should continue the metal, finish the metal on the inside, because we've got tons of metal now. And then, yeah, we'll have this come up here, like, to, I don't know, that height, maybe. So there we go. So that's as far back as our concrete will go. And we'll just make a series of wooden pillars in some spots. Kind of make it look like something. It doesn't really matter. The structural integrity, you know, it's not important. But obviously for me, I just like having it look like something. But anyway, let's grab some more stuff. Uh, let's, you you just need to craft, honestly, metal for days. Let's just let you go ham for a bit. And then let's just grab a ton of the metal that we can. A bunch of wood. Yes, please. Gonna need some of that. Uh, nothing in there yet. Oh, we got glass. Man, we have so much. Look at all. It's ridiculous. I, I mined a bunch of nodes just for the copper. And look at all the metal. The metal and coal and stone that we have is insane. Like, it's ridiculous. More wood in here. I don't really think we're gonna need all this wood. But we'll grab it anyway. And then... Metal 2, metal 1, okay. More stone in there. Yeah, it's insane. So we need to craft, like, metal for a while. Let's just, yeah, let's just fill you up. And then we need to keep crafting more concrete. And we need more water into the concrete system. I would like to also have a water chest that's incorporated into the crafting center. I think it would be really cool to have a water chest that gets filled up and is attached to, like, one of these chests so that... You don't have to do this ferrying water thing. I mean, it's not a huge deal. It's right there. But it would be cool if it just automatically had unlimited water when it needed it. Um, so that's concrete. How much... Where's that gonna go? We need... We're gonna need so much concrete. Like, it's not even funny. It's, it's ridiculous how little a full extension of blocks does. Like, I'm gonna bleed through these in about 10 seconds. This is like... Right here, this is two full extensions of blocks. So this is gonna come to here. That's gonna be our garage-ish. And then we're going to connect this to there. Oh, look at that. Measured the height perfectly. Nice. And then this is going to go like that. And then I think we need that much space. Beautiful. Perfect. And then we're just going to continue this. And this is going to be the whole garage height pretty much. I'm not going to try and make it like two or three blocks thick. It's going to have a bunch of wooden pillar support. So it'll kind of look like it's supported, I guess. And, uh, and then we'll make, like, a little controller ramp that comes down here so we can adjust our cars and have them come up. And then, uh, we'll attach the watering system underneath it and rewire all that up. So, easy mode. All right, I've been letting the craft bot go for this entire time, pretty much. Uh, and we're almost out of chemicals. We had, like, what, like, 160? And we're down to the last little bit. Um, so that's gonna finish up. This is still going strong. We're down to only 887 coal, so I guess we'll let that stop. I did patch up the rest of the wall with wood and metal. So let's take a look at how much concrete. Oh boy, that is not, that is not a lot of concrete. We might have to go get more chemicals from the HQ. I, that is not, am I really that, I'm out of chemicals? Are you serious? Wow, that is, that is unfortunate. Yeah, that is not a lot of concrete. Uh, let's put the metal away as well. We did get a bunch of metal though. Metal's good. We got a lot of wood as well. I don't need much more of it, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, I patched up the wall. So I, I did a few things while I was waiting for the concrete to crap. I outlined the base garage area for now, which is going to be this space, which I don't think is too large. And then I went around and patched up the whole wall just to, you know, get rid of the animal markings. Maybe at some point we'll upgrade this wall to be a better material. But honestly, two layers of wood is fine. And then I finished the inside metal for once. Because um, we have so much metal, like raw metal, that this is a little bit stronger. So even if they break through the wood, then they've got, you know, an extra layer of metal to go through. And we could really bring this all the way up to the top of the wood as well. But it, it's, you know, it's fine. I think this will be all right. So now we're just going to play the game of how far will the concrete go, I guess. We'll go grab the rest of it. Oh, I have all the rest of the concrete? Are you serious? Nothing. No, I have tons of stone still. We have tons of stone, tons of water. Yeah, no, nothing. No concrete in here, right? Sometimes it's hard to tell. They're all different gray blocks. And there's no other way. 
You can make chemicals out of potato seeds. Yeah, we're going to be going back to the HQ, I think. All right, well, let's see what this will do. It's probably not going to be a lot. Let's start there. That's one, two, three. Oh, God, we don't even have, like, we don't even have enough for anything. It's, oh, it takes so many blocks when you actually want to build, like, a platform. You know, like, this is 256. That's, that's right there. That's 256. Gone. And then this is another... Okay. So, like, yikes. Alright, we need... We need some more... We need some more stuff. Alright, off to the HQ, I guess. Time to check the yellow crate! For the yellow crate goodness! Please give me something good. Answer is, uh, passenger seat, soil bags, and paint ammo. All of that sucks. Thank you for playing the crate lottery. Please come back another time. All right, let's go get these chemicals. And, uh, someone said the quickest way to get there is just to always turn right. So here we go. We gotta go into the piping room at the top of the stairs here. And basically, we just go into piping room level one. And then apparently, we always go to the right, is what I was told in the comments. So if we just keep sticking to the right and not getting stuck. Oh, that was... Okay, I guess we could have cut across there. But stick to the right. The right. This brings us over to here. And more right. And more right. And that brings us to that room, which is not the right room. I feel like I could have done the same thing going to the left and sticking to the left. Oh, it's here. I don't know if that's quicker or not. Either way, perfect. Thank you for the comments. Stick to the right. Always works. Same sense in a maze. Just stick to one wall and you'll always get out of the maze. Unless it's a weird maze with the exit in the middle on an island. And in which case, you're never getting out. Alright, so chemicals. That's down this way. At the very end of the storage, I believe this room. Perfect. How are you doing? Fully charged. Let's just grab all of this. Thank you very much. And look, that's just going to start pumping up again. And that'll probably be full by the time we come back next time. Because, like, whenever we're in the HQ, that loads and should be pumping. So it's kind of hilarious how that works. We just have a free chemical supply. Um, and now we have 600 chemicals. So hopefully that's enough to make concrete. There's probably a much faster way to get to the chemical place, honestly. There's probably, a, like, there is definitely the connection through the front vents. But I don't know how to get there easily. What's up, Justin? How you doing? All right, let's go back to base, though. Crap, more concrete. I find it funny the uh, lag spike is getting larger and larger when we get back to base. Like, it's sort of what happens the more stuff you get in Scrap Mechanic. But yeah, every time we load the chunk with our base, the lag spike just gets... It gets pretty aggressive initially. <laughs> It goes away pretty quick, but it's definitely, it's definitely there. So it's just going to be kind of funny once we have more and more stuff. But that's fine. This is going to be a sweet, sweet garage, honestly. It's going to give us so much space to get uh, our two vehicles up there. And then the next vehicle we're going to build is a flyer, which is probably going to have a parking space like up top here somewhere out in the open. So not really too concerned about having garage space on that one. But all right, let's get this uh, chemical loaded up find an empty chest here it's empty enough there's just dump all this in there i wish there was a dump all button that would be very convenient uh we'll dump the rest in here perfect all right let's get you making some concrete again thank you very much you're just gonna go until you run out of water let's let you do that um and then you can build i guess this would take water too let's build a bunch more metal one let's get more water loaded up and then we'll get more metal 2 and metal 3 cooking as well. We might as well just load this up with water and grab this as well. There we go. Perfect. And then, yeah, we'll fix the watering system. I'm I'm still a little confused about the watering system. I might not have uh, the component kits to fix it up proper. Because we need a vacuum pump to make one of these inline pumps. Yeah. The vacuum extractor pipe. Then you guys are saying you go chest and then chest vacuum extractor pipe to water container. Then it stores more water. So it won't run out as quickly. I could make one vacuum. Does that mean I could have all my pumps off one water container and it would stay... Would it stay up long enough? Like it doesn't really matter. With the farm now it's going to be perfect. Because with the farm now it's like you're only ever going to fill it once. 
and then once it's filled, it's never going to miss. So we're not going to run into the issue. Like, it's got 150 water barrel capacity. 160? No, 300. Right? How many is this? It's 100. Oh, we're like way over capacity. No, we have 300 and we have 240 crop plots. Yeah, okay. No, never mind. This makes sense. The math. I was about to say, I did the math at one point in time. This all made sense back in the day. Yeah, so we have we have the water for 300 crops and we only have 240 crops that we're, we're planting. As long as the water hits every time. Like we're never gonna we're never gonna actually need that again. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm we're good. We're good. I'm I'm we're we're fine. Everything is making sense. I was a little confused there for a second, but yeah, I was just about to say like we don't really need a super high speed watering system as long as we're on top of the number of crops we have. All right, I'm gonna just go back to waiting until concrete crafts, and then once that's crafted, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna you know what we're just gonna start filling this in one tiny piece at a time. This is a very very unfortunately painful process and there's no real way to make it less painful because we just like like all that concrete we just crafted is gone again like it's unbelievable oh look there there we go wow we're, we're getting there we're we're getting there so my thought is this uh if we're gonna have the ramp come down let's say somewhere here this probably makes sense because then we could come up this way and then turn and then park them both in line that way that would probably make the most sense so if we're gonna have the ramp here uh something like this let's say let's do a full width extension ramp 16 wide um oh wait hold on we're gonna have to break this so we can weld it do i have my weld tool i do okay perfect so we're gonna have to do that so we break that off first and then we grab this and then that way we can weld um whatever we connect on both of these bearings together so like that they're actually attached now. That's all one piece. Perfect. And then we can put this back in. My base is starting to lag a little bit, but I think it's because I've got too many free-floating vehicles everywhere. Okay, so that's that. Perfect. And then if we build a ramp off of this... Wait, how wide is this truck? Is this truck... Okay, it's like 16 wide exactly. Can you not attack my truck, dude? If we make a 16 wide ramp, that's like, that's the whole truck width. What about the mining vehicle? It looks really wide as well. Oh. Oh, it is also, oh no. It is, it is wider than, all right, we're making a 16 wide ramp and driving up with the mining vehicle is just going to be really sketchy. How steep of a ramp is that? Is that too much for this? Probably not. Like we make industrial vehicles. I think this is, this is going to be great. Plus, it's going to get more grip on the wood. You just got to get over the the hump of the drills. Probably go backwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, that shreds. No problem. No problem whatsoever. It overshot it a bit, and we're going to be... But it doesn't matter. We're up here. And then we could go park. All right, what about this guy? Can this make it up? The ramp won't collapse, which is good. How is this? This is so sketchy in size. It makes it though. <laughs> oh wow! All right, cool. Well, that's the ramp then. So that's that's easy enough. That's perfect. And then these will just sit up here, and then we need to just be able to lift the ramp back. All right, all right. So let's leave this down here. We're probably making a ton of concrete now, which is awesome. And then this can go over here. We'll put some walls up eventually. Uh, and then what we need to do is somehow attach this to a cantilever arm type system way up here. All right, so I think I have a ramp prototype that might work um, if we can weld this up here. It's not long enough yet, but the idea is that we just got this one big leap. Wait, where did I leave the controller upstairs? But yeah, we just have one big lever arm that can fold down. It doesn't have to support the weight of the ramp with a vehicle. Uh, it just has to support the weight of the ramp, you know, by itself, right? We just need to be able to retract the ramp. When the vehicle's on it, the ramp can just hold itself up. Where did I actually put the controller? Oh, no. Also, my chemical bench has stopped making... Oh, no, it's still going. Never mind, it's still making concrete. All right, you're good. All right, let's see if this works. I hope this is going to work. This would be cool if it can hold up the whole ramp. So, the idea is this. It's really, really simple. Um, I need a switch as well. Don't worry, I'm on top of it today. We're really, we're really getting things done. Theoretically, I hook this into here. This goes into there, way up there, and it goes into this one. 
and that top one has to rotate. I probably made these lever arms way too long, but that's okay, we'll figure it out. Uh, this one's gotta rotate down, and this one's gotta rotate also that way. Yeah, and then we put them on extremely slow, and tell them to move maybe 45 to start. And that lowers it. Okay, they're like the, the bearing, this one, oh wait, this one needs to go 90. Needs to go, it's way too long a lever arm. All right, so that works for this length of ramp. But our ramp's gonna be a little longer. That actually folds it up nicely too. I don't know why this gets all messy. It's, oh, it's like, it's like jammed over weird on the control. Okay, well we can make this whole thing a little bit shorter. All right, I think I got it figured out here. So there's our attachment point. I think we can go probably a couple more blocks, but essentially that whole thing can pull it up like a drawbridge and slam it into that and boom, done, problem solved. So we can delete all of this now. Okay, I'm just trying to be careful here. I don't accidentally mess something up, but we can do that. And now I can go up and attach, I guess we can do it from here. But if we attach this piece um, right where the bearing is connected, so that piece there, if we attach this, Nope, whoop. Oh, that's right. This is all going to be in behind now. Uh, that's fine. We can go like that and attach that to there. And now we can break all this off, technically. And I think, if I've done this right, the controller is all still connected. Because it's all part of the other creation. And now it swivels down from the top. That's perfect. Perfect. It's a little, it's a little short. We need the end to be a little bit longer. So the ramp stops a little bit earlier. It's kind of trying to stretch that cable. I mean, the cable is only on one side. I'm just trying to avoid over com complicating the thing. So it doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't explode with lag. But yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. It's off by one block now. So we'll have to wait. Did I build it an extra block too far? And I know it needed to be one block forward, but did I build it two blocks forward? Oh my god, I built it two blocks forward now. Oh. Well, I'm an idiot. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 I'm an idiot. Doesn't matter, we're not gonna fix that. It's gonna stay two blocks forward now. I'll just put a little bracer up there. I was like, why is it so far away from the wall? It doesn't matter. We'll build a little a bracket there that holds this thing in. Maybe a little lock or something at some point. But there we go. So that goes all the way down. Beautiful ramp. Look at that. We got a nice little brace piece. We can take our... Oh, right. We've got extra concrete. This is actually kind of sick, having a ramp now. I, I'm a big fan of this. All right, so we can patch this up. Patch that. Maybe patch the rest of this, hopefully, with enough. Might be close. Grab that. No, it's gonna... Oh, maybe it'll do it. It might... This might just be enough. All right, I can probably stop the concrete production upstairs. It's still making concrete. Oh my god. Look at that. Beautiful. We can use concrete too for the other side as well. I still have that other like staircase that goes down here. Not exactly sure. We could maybe build like the helipad that low. But I think honestly I'm going to make that like a main entrance or something. I don't know. It's it, There's a whole extra thing over there. Uh, let's. Oh, you're already done. You ran out of water? No, you ran out of stone? Oh my god. We consumed all of our stone into concrete well okay hopefully we don't need stone for anything i guess we need it for sand at some point wow that actually ate through all the stone are you serious where's all the metal there's all the metal 11 stone left it doesn't matter we'll get more stone soon lots of metal how are you doing did you eat through all the metal yet no you might as well like build more okay so that's good um, that's finished. So let's, yeah, let's bring our vehicles up. And then all we got to do is reattach the watering system to the bottom. And I got to reconnect all that up at some point in time. But let's just bring the vehicles up. Honestly, I'm probably just going to deal with the watering system on another day. When we can, uh, actually look at improving this whole hose system and putting it with a proper pump. Because I really want to do what you guys were saying with the watering system. And put a chest to then a filter pump. 
and then the filter pump sunking it out of the chest and filling up a single container and uh, see if that actually works and can, you know, do the whole farm without having to, uh, you know, re restock it or whatever. Because that would save us some watering containers and a lot of connections. So I definitely want to try that at some point in time and see if it's possible because that would be really, really cool. But in the meantime, let's park these vehicles up top. So a little bit of a sharp turn right when we get up there, but that's okay. We come up onto the ramp. We get up here. Look at that. We turn. This thing's just amazing. Turns on a dime. No problem. And like, just like that, easy parking. Perfect. And then we take our truck. Big oil truck. Same thing. I gotta move that uh, controller. Although I guess, I guess I could leave it there. I could just make a little concrete box for it in the corner. Put a switch on the concrete box. Maybe an XOR gate. This thing kind of makes the ramp buckle a little bit, but it makes it up no problem. And then we just turn over here. Just kind of have to do a little bit of a three-point turn. That's perfect. This is so perfect. I, I'm a big fan of this. And then, yeah, let's go grab some concrete. We'll do a couple of XOR gates on this thing. And then that way we can just, you know, have the switch right there. So we can uh, easily toggle it open or closed if we're getting up. So let's grab the rest of the concrete which was here. We're also gonna make little concrete barriers just to make it look nice and have it, you know, so we don't slide off. And then we need a logic gate. There we go, perfect. So let's go down here. Just a little little safety box. So we'll put our logic gate in there, make this an XOR, put that to there, and then we'll just seal this in like that. And then we'll put a switch on this side and a switch on the other side. And they'll both connect in to the XOR gate. So now either switch will swap the direction of the the ramp. I like that. That's perfect. I feel like if the bearings were just powered here, it wouldn't be strong enough to pull it up. But this little, you know, this big lever arm, that gives us all the extra power we need to pull this up. And there we go. We can lower it, raise it. Perfect. So now let's just build a little fence around this whole thing. And, uh, you know, do something nice and simple. Just a little, little kind of railing. I don't exactly know what kind of spacing we'll have on it, but it'll work. Something like that. And then we'll have this come over to here. Like so. And then leave a nice three block, uh, probably even more than three blocks on this side. Because the vehicles are kind of wide. I think that's okay. Maybe like that. And then just build a, build a little fence across. Drag that down. Probably could sync it up with the fence up top, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Because the fence up top, the pillars are perfectly evenly spaced. Whereas this one is already not. But this is mainly just to stop you from, you know, accidentally driving your vehicle off the garage platform when you go to park. And we'll just continue that all the way through, because why not? Start from this corner. Alright, perfect. Then just finish this wall up. This is actually really, really cool now. I'm a big fan of this. I'm going to mount the uh, the watering system, but I'll deal with wiring it up another day. Because like I said, I really want to uh, take a look at actually, you know, investigating the different watering systems that we have. And I need to get a few more component kits. And uh, if we have a few more component kits, then we can go and get ourselves a um, one of those inline vacuum pumps that we can then use to try and improve the watering system with just a chest and a vacuum pump combo. So we're going to need more copper, probably have to go mine a few more nodes. But overall, this works great. Now we have a garage. I can come down here. I can grab a vehicle like so. We can just back up, you know, turn around. This is actually, it looks super cool. I'm a huge fan of this. And then just, you know, get stuck on this rock. Doesn't really matter. Drive out, do our thing. And then we can turn around and we can come back in. So hold on, if I if this is closed, when we're showing back up, like this is this is sealed like that. Might run into a bit of an issue here, but I guess we just we come up here. Wow, that is super tall, that ramp. We just come up here and just stop, maybe not fly out of our vehicle forward, but we stop here, press that, we come back, we back up while that's coming down to kill us actually works pretty well and then we can just go straight up the ramp and get back in 
That's so cool. That is that is a very, very functional chunk of building. And now our vehicles are perfect. Protected, everything's great, the crops are covered. You know, now all we gotta do is fix up our watering system and make the crop farm perfect and then we'll be good to go. I mean, this just has to weld up, essentially up here somewhere, right above the middle one, uh, which is like one of the, I don't know, we'll figure this out. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.